Yoga and cannabis work great together because they are both used for physical wellness, mental wellness, and also recreationally. I really thought there was a market for people to be able to do both. And the cannabis industry has been underserved in the wellness industry. I think there's a lot of opportunities for um, intersect and collaboration there. Bob Marley. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit at New Age Canna PC and watch the whole conversation on YouTube. This is the New Age Cannabis Podcast, where we take a fresh look at all things cannabis from an African perspective. Join us and our awesome guests as we walk through the endless capabilities and benefits of cannabis. Today, we're speaking to Kristen Edwards of Top Shelf Yoga and find out about her virtual yoga experience, which is created for medical marijuana users and the cannabis connoisseur. Kristen, welcome to the New Age Cannabis Podcast. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. But I think before you tell us how cannabis and yoga are intertwined, what brought you to cannabis? I think like most people, I was introduced to cannabis in high school through my friend group. It was also part of my college experience. It was a large part of the campus culture. I went to CU Boulder in Colorado in the United States, and they are infamous for their 420 celebrations. Um, The first rec store opened in Colorado in 2014, and I've been a med card holder since early 2021. So I've used cannabis recreationally since I was introduced to it. And as I got older, I learned more about the um, other benefits to it as well. Interesting. So tell me, how does yoga and cannabis come together and how and why does it work so well together? Yoga and cannabis work great together because they are both used for physical wellness, mental wellness, and also recreationally. And in yoga classes, one of the practices of yoga is beyond the movements and the deep breathing, it helps us create mindfulness and awareness. And I find that the combination of cannabis and yoga can really help us clear our minds and be more present in the moment. As a, as a cannabis user, uh, what I would consider a cannabis connoisseur, and I would then reference myself as having yoga curiosity. How would I migrate from being someone who's interested in yoga Um, and a cannabis user to being one who puts them together to achieve that state of mind that you described of, you know, relaxation. Top Shelf Yoga is great for those um, newbies to yoga and those with yoga curiosities. Um, All of my videos and classes are great for the beginner. So I make it a very friendly, casual experience for the first time user where I try to take that intimidation factor away of trying something new by um, introducing the cannabis connoisseur to something new in a, in a really fun way. What's the most fun thing about a session? What, What do most people really gravitate towards? I think the best feedback I've gotten from a top shelf yoga student is during a private lesson that I was teaching and it was her first time on the mat and she took a private lesson with her husband and it was all virtually and she told me that she never would have tried yoga had I not been offering it in this way. She was um, always intimidated by it and being able to do yoga in her living room, in her pajamas, with her husband, um, just made it a really 
fun experience. It took the intimidation factor away from it. I like to meet people where they're at rather than asking them to join me in a public class setting where they might not be comfortable. Okay, so that personalized touch really gives them that confidence um, because then there's not really anyone watching. So if you do the downward dog incorrectly, and that's the one yoga position I know, no one's really watching you to, to judge you. Right, exactly. Um, when I teach a live class, people are invited to have their cameras on or off. I always leave a little bit of time after class to come closer to the camera. So that community feeling of yoga classes is there. However, if people want to be incognito and not say anything and to keep their camera off, I welcome that as well. It's um, whatever makes the experience best for them. Where do you introduce the cannabis? Is it at the beginning? Is it at the end? Um, take us through. A top shelf yoga class includes cannabis beginning, middle, and end. Okay. Um, class will begin with a deep breathing exercise. At this time, I invite people to infuse their yoga practice, to light up, and that is when we will start to slow the mind down, get in touch with our breathing, and really set the mental space before we even start to move on to the asanas or the yoga movements. And then class is broken up into different segments where we will do a few poses that are on the floor and then before moving on to our backs or onto our tummies. I will invite people to light up, infuse their yoga practice again. And an important point I make at the beginning of every yoga class is it's so important to listen to your own body more than it is to listen to me as an instructor. Because if you don't listen to your own body, who's going to, right? That's so true. if I, if I suggest a pose that is uncomfortable for you, people are more than welcome to ignore my suggestion and just light up instead, join the yoga practice again when they feel more comfortable. And that's something you couldn't do in um, a normal in-person class without getting some strange side eye about why is that person just sitting there? And Class ends with a full body scan, a meditation, some feel good affirmations and um, smoking together if people want as a community and hopefully leaving the mat feeling um, mentally and spiritually lighter and a little bit more um, physically limber. In terms of the body, because <laughs> you've mentioned that, you know, um, in the different positions, you need to be a bit more flexible and your body must tell you what to do. Are there any specific strains you would recommend that better help? And I know, you know, there's, there's, there's strains that have body highs, there's strains that have head highs. So when it comes to yoga, which one really helps with yoga? Is it the head high, body high, the full high? Or, and do you have any specific strains uh, you would you'd recommend that people consume? Um, my favorite strains are indica dominant. I can find that sativa dominant strains can um, get my head a little busy and indica really helps me drop my sensations down into my body, be a little bit more aware of how I'm physically feeling. I also really enjoy using CBD or low THC edibles during a yoga experience because I find that CBD and um, edibles can offer that really delicious body high and moving your body comfortably and in a relaxed manner while experiencing that is, um, well... Personally, I just find it great. I grew a banana monkey that has this phenomenal body high. And I'm definitely looking to trying your virtual yoga experience with a body high. You know, something that makes you feel limber and flexible and connects you with your mind. That sounds delicious. I think it would be 
it would be perfect for the cannabis yoga experience. Um, I think one of my favorite strains is Lemon Skunk. It is a nice indica that doesn't get you too sleepy. You know, we don't necessarily want to be taking a nap on our mat during class, but sometimes that can happen during um, during the end of class with our meditations. I have I have a small story where I was, um, I was leading a class with a small group and my best friend, one of my biggest supporters was in the class with me and everybody else had left the zoom session. And I was like, Hey, like, are you there? Did you, did you have fun? And no response from him. And I like hung out a little bit and I was like, well, Maybe, maybe he had to leave or take a call or something. And um, I left the Zoom session and he texted me a few minutes later. He was like, did class end? I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, cla- class ended. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, shame. That sounds really, that sounds really good because meditation is supposed to relax That's you, you know? So um, sounds like a happy ending to me. <laughs> yes. So we know that um, COVID has changed things a lot. Um, was it a, a new way of dealing with COVID that you introduced the um, online yes, lessons? Um, yeah, COVID did have a lot to do with it. Personally, me as a yoga student, I was doing a lot of online virtual videos that you can find on YouTube and trying to infuse my own um, cannabis experience into videos. And I would be in a position um, trying to light up and then suddenly class has moved on to two more positions and um, yoga classes, anything but rushing from one position to a next. And I really thought there was a market for people to be able to do both. And the cannabis industry has been underserved in the wellness industry. I think there's a lot of opportunities for um, intersect and collaboration there. And I'm happy to be um, dabbling in that. I like the pun on words there. Um, so how has the cannabis community um, reacted to this yoga cannabis experience? One of my strategies with Top Shelf Yoga was introducing yoga to the cannabis community, like you said, versus introducing cannabis use to the typical yoga practice. Top Shelf Yoga really markets itself to the beginner and to the cannabis user, whether medically or recreationally. And I found a really great response so far. People have been trying yoga for the first time and talking about how the there's a synergy with the benefits between cannabis and yoga with relaxation and body awareness and i have been warmly welcomed by by the cannabis community i'm definitely looking to take up a session as well because i've been considering yoga for the past couple of months and after chatting to you i definitely think there's a space in it in terms of the overall wellness lifestyle that being a cannabis consumer comes with I would love to do a class together. I have one coming up later this month in September, actually. So I will keep you guys posted on the details. Excellent. Canna quiz time. It's time for the canna quiz. quiz. (laughs) So, Kristen, okay. What is your favorite strain? My favorite strain is blueberry headband. What kind of strain is that? I'm really curious. Sounds tasty. It is it is a sativa dominant hybrid. I find that the 
hybrid elements of blueberry headband give me that nice body high and the sativa keeps me um, productive and functional and most sativas, some sativas can lead to anxiety, racing thoughts, paranoia. And I find that blueberry headband is a really great um, mix of both, a true hybrid where it doesn't bring you down mentally um, or physically and you're still alert and enjoying the high. Gorgeous. What is your favorite way to consume cannabis? Is it drinking, edibles, smoking, topical creams? Oh, it's so hard to pick a favorite. It's like picking a favorite child. Um, it really depends on the situation. If I'm smoking socially, I prefer passing a, a joint among a group. Um, I use cannabis topicals and CBD and THC edibles for any body ailments I'm experiencing. The most common way that I use cannabis is um, smoking the flower and also using a cartridge of um, cannabis extracted uh, vape oil. Blunts or joints? And I think you answered that a bit earlier. Um, joints. I... This is kind of like a stoner faux pas, but I actually don't know how to roll joints or a blunt. Um, I buy a lot of pre-rolls or I hang out with people that do know how typically it is a joint. What's your favorite edible food? Anything chocolate. Who is your favorite cannabis celebrity or advocate? Good one. Good question. Bob Marley. I'm trying to do the math. To be, I think you're the first one who said Bob Marley so far. <laughs> what is your favorite capability of the plant? Is it the medical properties, the construction properties, the renewable energy properties? What's your favorite property? I think the hemp industry is something that is sorely underutilized, especially in the United States. Personally speaking, I love the relaxation and um, healing medicinal properties of cannabis. Your favorite movie or song about cannabis? Um, my favorite song about cannabis is Ganja Babe by Michael Fronte. Oh, you have to sing that song for me. <laughs> maybe, maybe next time after we've enjoyed some cannabis together and we can do some cannabis karaoke. <laughs> Excellent. I love the sound of that. <laughs> okay, you've alluded a lot to this one, but I what is your favorite, indica or sativa? If I could only choose one to smoke for the rest of my life, I would choose sativa. However, having the best of both worlds, I think I enjoy indica a little bit better for most of its applications with the relaxation that it offers. Um, but I can't be an indica girl 24-7. I would lose my productivity. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which African country would you like most likely to experience the indigenous cannabis culture from? Unfortunately, I don't know much about indigenous cannabis culture in African countries. It's something I would like to study up more on. Um, I have met some wonderful people from South Africa, present company included. So you guys in South Africa are at the top of my list for learning more about cannabis culture. And if I ever had the opportunity to experience indigenous cannabis culture firsthand um, I would absolutely love that you are most welcome to come to South Africa I would love to host you <laughs> I might take you up on that same for Colorado if you ever want to experience some cooler weather you are always welcome here thank you all right what's your final message to anyone listening um, what is your call to action to the people? 
I created Top Shelf Yoga in hopes that the virtual classes will remove any intimidation from trying yoga for the first time. You can practice yoga in the privacy of your own home, in your pajamas, with your cannabis. We um, keep it casual. Let's get stoned, stretch, and relax together. Awesome. I love that. <laughs> Um, what is your social media handle? Where can people find you? I post daily wellness, cannabis, and yoga content on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find me at Top Shelf Yoga. Um, I am identifiable by the mason jar with the cannabis leaf on there. Live classes and class recordings are available on my Patreon account and videos are available on YouTube. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Awesome. A big thank you, uh, Kristen. It's been amazing having this conversation with you. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit at the New Age Canna PC and watch the whole conversation on YouTube.